<laughs> ah, real talk, the metaphor Messiah, man. <laughs> I got this one. Let's go. You ever seen the morning star? Mr. Metaphor Messiah, back to show you who we are. I represent a legacy, a pothead like the 70s, a different kind of mind. They say we only speak in melodies. Legend in the game, I think I found a solution. Got a crazy kind of flow, I need a verbal institution. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Dead on Dave, and I'm coming at you with a wrestling reportedly. Look, for all of you TNA fans out there, believe it or not, there are still some of you that are left. You have to be very excited, and I think most people in the industry are excited about the fact that TNA is going through a complete new ownership overhaul. That's right, Anthem Entertainment is now in charge. They are running the direction of TNA Impact Wrestling from now on. And I think most people feel that's a positive because, I mean, it's not like TNA could have sunk much worse than what already was at this point. So, only way to go is up, right? And this is good things. I would think that most people understand the importance of really coming out swinging and hitting the best things humanly possible for Anthem and Impact together. Everything they do is going to be criticized. Everything they do is going to be scrutinized. Everything that they do is going to matter because this needs to feel markedly different than what it was before. Because let's face it, what it was before wasn't working. So one of the most important things that most people would think they would need to do is come out and nail the initial branding of this new company, Anthem Impact Entertainment, whatever the hell that, that they're calling it. That would be the most important thing, right? And there's no way in the world that when they unleash that new branding on the world that it would be simple or boring or, or just... You know, nothing exciting. There's no way. And it certainly wouldn't be ambiguous, right? Of course not. They would never do that to us. They would go on and they would do something bold and interesting and, and captivating. And oh my God, they just put the anthem owl in behind the impact. Oh no, no. Oh God, yep. Look what they did. This isn't good. Oh shit. They went ahead and they took that weird reading rainbow-esque owl of Anthem Entertainment and just put it behind Impact Wrestling. And they put it in front of the six-sided ring. Now, this doesn't make sense for oh so many reasons. The reason why WWE is able to not have anything wrestling related in its logo or anything is because people know what WWE is. It has a following a brand everybody knows what it is there's no questions no ambiguity there's nothing impact tna doesn't have that same thing to lay to lean on because let's face it tna has been around a long time gone through a name change gone through multiple ownership changes they've gone through ring changes so the last thing that they could do is just take a name that not everybody even associates with the product impact i mean jesus christ they can't even get their employees to call it impact most of the time they they still call the tna which people were confused at what tna was because it's a euphemism for tits and ass so it's it's very bizarre that they would go in this direction so why in the world would they take this labyrinth owl essentially and putting put it with a word that nobody really associates with a wrestling organization and put it in front of a ring that people don't commonly associate with a wrestling organization. They're the only company that's really doing this, except for Global Force, but nobody even knows what that is. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable to me that the only thing in this picture that would scream wrestling at you is the word wrestling. And in fact, that word is very small. The coloration isn't exciting. There's nothing about this that just speaks bold new direction. I mean, Jesus Christ, get broken Matt Hardy out there with a couple of guns, something. Yo, Samity, Sam this thing up. Do something bold. Don't get ambiguous. Don't get uh, easy. Don't get small. Don't get cheap. This feels like all of that. This is disappointing because when you want TNA to go in a new direction, you actually want them to go in a new direction. This isn't a new direction. This doesn't feel like anything fresh and captivating it feels old 
and regurgitated. It feels lazy. It feels sloppy. That's what it really feels like. And I think that's the biggest problem because most of the time with TNA, when you're watching the product, it feels lazy. It feels sloppy. Not necessarily the in-ring product all the time, but the production, the, the creative, the things like that. That is what is associated with the product. So why would you go with something that's so boring? So boring. I mean, I like Labyrinth. They granted this is a little bit of a different color, but it's basically the Labyrinth Owl that nobody even knows what the hell Anthem is. <laughs> it's unbelievable. This is really just a, a head scratcher of a move, for me at least. But And I'm actually getting a little bit worried about the new direction of Impact Wrestling under Anthem Entertainment. But that's enough for me. What do you guys think? Am I off base here? Is this a brilliant logo and I just simply don't get it? I mean, I don't know art, but I know what I like. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section and on Twitter at that on Dave V. Also, an associated uh, video. Go check out myself and Andre Corbiel over on Vince Russo's The Brand website and his YouTube channel. And we talk about six things that TNA could do to change their course. And marketing was a big one that we both talked about. You're going to see, this is a problem here, kids. This is a problem, but I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. Hit me up. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys very much for joining me right here on Dead on Dave Productions. We will see you next time. As always, keep it copious, folks. And if you don't have talent, have talented friends. Peace.